That's what makes his later mission so unusual. Unlike Armstrong, Collins, or Aldrin, Duke didn't just carry the memory of walking on the moon. He carried the double vision of being both earthbound and moonbound, of being the one who steadied voices trembling in space, and the one who later heard his own voice echoing inside a helmet on another world. And here's the part that gets overlooked. No other living astronaut has quite this perspective. Duke is the only man who was both the emotional anchor of Apollo 11 and the explorer of Apollo 16. His words from Houston were replayed worldwide. His southern drawl recognized across continents, yet he remained a name few could place to a face. Invisible until he wasn't. In recent interviews, Duke has opened up about what that duality really meant. He said guiding Armstrong and Aldrin felt like being a father, watching his kids take their first steps. When he finally got to walk on the moon himself, he couldn't help but compare the experience, 